So it's about 85 degrees. It is May 31st, 2017. And I was tired of sitting at home. Been working around the house quite a bit the last couple days and I needed to get out. So I'm up at the Patoka River National Wildlife Refuge just for a little while. I'm going to go back here on the Indian Hill Trail, go for a small little hike. When I say small, it's only a mile and a half long trail, so very, very small hike. But I'm planning on setting up my hammock back there and just relaxing along the old riverbed. Come along. I hope you enjoy. I am parked right here at this P, and I'm just going to go around down here and catch this green trail, which is Indian Hill Trail. Go around. This is the old riverbed down here. This is the new riverbed called Houchins Ditch. But I'm just going to hike down around this hill, this lake, Indian Hill Lake, backside along the riverbed, and then come back up Paddlefish and come up to my east which will bring me out right over there. to prepare through the fields It's going to be a good one Pulled away Why All right, as I leave Indian Hill Lake, I'm heading up Indian Hill. Um, there's a view of Indian Lake, Indian Hill Lake. So my intention is to set my hammock up here someplace on the side of Indian Hill, overlooking the old riverbed. And then on the other side of the lake is the Paddlefish Pond, which I'll get to later on. Um, saw raccoon. Not very common that I see one during the daylight, especially when they came that close to me. He probably came within about 30 foot and then he turned tailed and ran up into the, wood, uh, into the field. Uh, yeah, it's good so far. It's real good so far. And there's the old riverbed. So here's the other side of the connector trail that we were looking at earlier. So let's go for a walk that way and I'll show you the overlook.
Well, this isn't working out the way I planned. Um, getting ready to exit back here by the old riverbed, which is back there behind me. And I thought I'd be able to find a spot to hang a hammock, but the problem is I forgot. And for how much I'm up here, it's amazing that I forgot this. These are all small trees. And they got to be able to support me. And these trees are not big enough to do that. The ones that are big enough are too far apart or too close together. So I think I'll go to another spot, another trail, and try to uh, find me a spot to kick back and relax in a hammock over there. That is in much older woods and uh, much bigger trees. Probably spaced just about right, too, for several of them. So here I am, Snaky Point, Hugh Boyd, technically. I'm at the Hugh Boyd Trail and starting to go up the trail towards Snaky Point, which is the marsh I mentioned a few minutes ago. Um, as I continue on this trail, it'll take me heading back towards Columbia Mine Preserve. Snaking in the dead, Well, it's set up. I got my hammock set up. I've got a nice view below me. Yeah, kind of a blocked view of the smart marsh, but still a nice view. The wind is blowing. I'm in a really, really nice, cool spot. Uh, just kind of kicking back and relaxing. This is good. This is real good. There. And there is my view. This is so comfortable. It's a shame they don't allow you to camp up here. I'd be up here quite a bit. But. Even though they don't let you camp up here, it is still a day use facility. And I think I'm going to take a siesta for probably 15, 20 minutes. That sounds like a wonderful idea to me. Yeah, siesta.